It is officially quarantine breakout time. As of today, we think they're lifting quarantine restrictions in Akamo and maybe a little bit in Tamo. Tamo Tulum. <laughs> Tamo. Do you want to go to the beach? We don't know if the beach is open either. We uh, have heard that it is, we've heard that it isn't, we've heard that some beaches are, the private beaches are closed, but public ones are, or vice versa, whatever. So we don't know what's going on. We're going to go find out. All right, Alejandro's already leaving. So. Alejandro's out the door, so we better hurry up. We got our stuff. Let's do this. Look at the camera and say it. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go. You guys want to say anything to the camera? We, we are the culture trotters. We left our life in the States to seek out in-depth cultural experiences all over the world. When COVID happened, we decided not to head back to the States but instead spend more time exploring Mexico. If you like what we're doing, please click that like button. If you want to see more local culture from a family living it directly, please click the red subscribe button. Don't forget to ding the bell so you don't miss anything. While parking the car at the beach, we were totally surprised to see dolphins jumping out of the water in the bay. Right in the middle of town, they were training dolphins, manatees, and sea lions. With no one around, we had a private viewing of their daily training routine. While the beaches were not technically open, thanks to a tip from our neighbors, we were able to get on the beach no problem. You just have to know where the secret entrances are, or know somebody who knows somebody who knows the person at the front desk of a hotel on the beach. Yet another reason to get to know the locals. about Tulum. Uh, we heard it has super beautiful beaches. You have to see the beaches and everything about it is just gorgeous. But they also seem to charge for everything. You want to park here, you want to, you have to pay. You want to get on this beach, you have to pay usually an extravagant amount to get on a beach at a restaurant or a hotel or anything. So it seems like everywhere we go, we're going to get charged. And I don't like that. And I also feel a little bit like 
it's a playground for the wealthy, but like the wealthy who want to drink a green smoothie. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's gonna be like very Americanized, I think. After months of cooking every meal, we were so excited to finally be eating out and to not have to do the dishes. Even if it meant putting up with all of the new protocol. At this restaurant, they took her temperature and gave us hand sanitizer before entering. You scan the napkin holder with your phone to get the menu. The staff all wear masks and the tables are spaced about six feet apart. They also have this disinfectant spray gun that the manager seemed proud to show off to his customers. When walking into businesses, you now step on masks filled with some sort of disinfectant. This one dyed our shoes and feet red. I have no idea what we stepped in. Hopefully it washes out. Another tip from the locals. The dive shop is open and if you book a snorkel or dive trip, you can get onto the beach. I think they'll all be out there waiting for us. We have been waiting for seven weeks now for a chance to swim with these turtles. We were the first people to book a snorkel trip and get to see the turtles after three months of closed beaches. Good. Akamal means place of the turtles in Mayan. The lazy green sea turtles spend their days floating around the bay eating up the plentiful seagrass. I don't know how many times the kids have asked me to go to a playground since quarantine started. Even though we were the only ones there, it was great to finally see a playground open. The kids were thrilled to get a chance to play. For the cost of renting a locker, oh, yeah, the dive know. shop was happy to let us come back and snorkel in the bay anytime we like. This time, instead of taking a tour, we just walked out into the water and swam out to the reef on our own.
We're coming back from the dive shop and there was a man on the side of the road selling lychees. I didn't know they grew in Mexico. <laughs> Um, he gave me one to eat. They're delicious. I'm gonna give one to the kids. They've never had. Well, she says on the way back, like we were driving. She said, "Stop! Stop! Wait! Stop! Stop! stop. Pull over!" So I had to pull over and she said, jump out and go get them. I see us. First, you cut it open with a knife, and then you can just peel the top right off, squish, and pop out this yummy, delicious fruit. We're gonna give it to Hondro. Uh, <laughs> this one's very ripe. Here, let me give another one. I'll eat that one. They're all pretty ripe. I'm like putting urchin in my mouth. Uh, oh! Hi, everybody. So I'm just gonna rip it open. And here, ah! So much juice is coming out. Just pop that in your mouth, the inside. Just push it right in your mouth. Squeeze the bottom of it. Yeah, squeeze it like. There you go. Perfect. Good. Eat it. Chew it. Chew on it. It's good, right? We are at Bonita Burgers. French Canadian people down at the Monkeys have recommended it. They have friends here and we're excited to get a actual good burger in Mexico. We have not had a good burger in Mexico. They often have bologna on them <laughs> and it's like a mystery meat. It's not really beef. I think it's pork maybe, frozen patties. So we're excited. We think we're going to get a real delicious hamburger here. We already got a two for one mojito special and they're delicious. Looks like a real burger. Oh my goodness. Alright, you don't have any plate for me. Again! I was going to do that anyway. Good? So this is their first day open after the coronavirus. We came back yesterday, they were closed. We came back today, though we decided we didn't like Tulum. We like this place. Alejandro can see himself in the camera, so he's having fun. <clears throat> the best burger we've had in all of Mexico. Top uh, the, number one in my books. <laughs> this isn't distracting, is it? <laughs> this is my life. These burgers are... These burgers. burgers. You're eating burgers. burgers? Ew. I really like eating burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our adventure. Please help us out by subscribing. Click the bell to get a notification when we post our next video.